Hey, so I'm out here on this government website here. I'll put the link below. This is for H.R. 748 Universal National Service Act, sponsored by Sir Honorable uh, Chuck Wrangle. And I say Sir Honorable with much sarcasm. Now I'll tell you what this is all about. To require all persons in the United States between the ages of 18 and 25 to perform national service, either as a member of the Uniformed Services or as a civilian service in federal, state, or local government program within a community-based agency or community-based entity to authorize the introduction of persons in the Uniformed Services during wartime to meet and strength requirements of the Uniformed Services. To provide for the registration of women under the military selective service acts and for other purposes. So you like that? Probably just stressed everyone out, right? Uh, anyway, so I do. <laughs> I, you know, you get what you pay for when you, when you come on my channel, right? So this is what's going on with this so far. I apologize for that. Uh, February 15, 2013. So does this mean it's going to be a law? Nope, not necessarily, not at all. But still, uh, you know, still something to watch. And I find the timing coincidental how it certainly seems that World War III is right around the corner. And it sure kind of sounds like they're setting up some sort of draft, you know. This is what I think, but that's just my opinion. Now, speaking of World War III, let's head on over to RT real quick. I'll put this below as well. Obama to threaten Iran with military strike in June, Israeli media reports. So they're saying that when he goes over there next month, that he's supposed to be talking about threat or, uh, striking Iran in June. And that's one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why he's going over there. Now, the man's been in, you know, president since 2008 or elected, whatever you want to call it, 2008. Um, he, here it is, 2013. He has still yet to make it over there. So could this be just more, you know, banging of the drums, or war drums is a bunch of junk, saber rattling, not war drums, uh, saber rattling, because he hasn't made it over there. So I don't know if this is more head games with Iran trying to show him that they're really getting serious about it, even though he could just say, oh, I'm not going after all because he hasn't been there in five years. So I don't know. You know, I don't know if he's going to make it over there for sure or not. So we'll be watching that to see if he cancels and, uh, and see what happens with it. So maybe they're really... It's weird that this was the, the strike, according to Netanyahu, was supposed to happen. Well, not necessarily was supposed to happen, but uh, March, April, or May, that was the that was it. You know, something needed to happen by then, according to him. And now they're automatically just talking about June all of a sudden. So seems like it just keeps getting pushed back more and more. So we'll see what happens. I'll be watching this. I'll put the link below, like I said. Thanks to all my subscribers and teammates out there. Keep me going. See you on the next video. Bye.